Greetings everybody, coming to you from my new to me uh, 2008 Mercedes-Benz S550 4Matic. So I bought this car for $6,500 knowing that it had some issues and I actually missed one even though I, uh, I'll tell you more about that later, but the most pressing issue it had was the seal from the uh, the front of the transfer case was uh, dripping transmission oil. They they share the same transmission oil, and uh, one shop had actually misdiagnosed it. And uh, this will so this is good. This part is good for me. They thought it was the transmission pan, um, and so they actually did a, a fluid change fluid and filter change and put a new pan on it um, so that that wasn't actually the issue the issue was the transfer case seal so that's definitely above my pay grade so I had that done at the dealer um, it was a bit pricey it was like uh, $1,400 or something like that most of that was in labor but it was critical to do that because just running the car for five minutes would leave a, a decent sized puddle on the ground. I also had them top up the fluid. Um, it was about uh, somewhere between one quart and two quarts low. Um, so not a big deal. It never slipped or shifted funny or anything like that. But uh, now it's, uh, it's perfect. Um, the uh, the other thing, the thing that I missed was on one of the repair orders that came with the car, there was an estimate for a driver's side front CV axle. And that, you talk about pricey, that was pushing about three grand. Um, turns out, I guess this is a pretty common issue on these, that the, um, the boots leak, not necessarily that they are torn or anything, but they leak. Um, the grease kind of slings itself out. So, as of now, the um, the the axle is fine. It's not making any noise. Um, I did wipe it off under there to see if I can kind of track how much grease it's losing. Um, but. Yeah, there's no sign of any binding or clicking or anything like that. So I think it's a, it's good for the time being, but it definitely will need to be addressed. Um, and then there was some deferred maintenance. Uh, and most notably, coolant and um, brake fluid. So first about the brake fluid. This is really interesting. I've never seen this before. So I changed the brake fluid... But on uh, the one of the rear wheels, when I opened the bleeder, this like jelly goop came out. I've never seen anything like that before. It, it actually uh, came out for a, a little while before I started getting actual fluid coming out. And it was pretty dark brown. I have seen worse colored fluid, but uh, yeah, this one was, was up there. And on one of the front wheels on that same side, um, when I opened the bleeder, um, nothing came out. I actually had the system pressurized with the pressure bleeder, and I still had to get in the car and kind of stomp a little bit on the brake pedal to push whatever was in there out. So that is, that's taken care of now. I've got fresh brake fluid in. And um, apparently at some point in the cars not so long ago past, it had a coolant thermostat installed. And the shop uh, didn't know what they were doing and they put the green coolant in. So that, that also, along with the brake fluid, drove me nuts. So I had to change that. Um, I ended up uh, flushing it five times uh, before refilling it with the proper 
Mercedes coolant. Um, and so that's done now. Um, I, I think these systems are self bleeding. Um, I, I had a little bit of, uh, uh, coolant drop when I first refilled it and then I added I don't know about another quart and it's it's held since then no uh, sudden moves on the temperature gauge um, uh, the only thing when you're changing coolant like that is it does take a little while for it to reach the heater core um, so you get cold air coming out uh, for, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or something like that. So I kept switching between defrost and floor. And eventually it, it, uh, the heat started coming out of there. And I did, I did flush the heater core a couple times as well. Um, and the way I flushed it was just with distilled water, drain, refill, run the car for a while, lather, rinse, repeat. Um, other than that, there's, there's two self-inflicted things that I'm not counting in the, in my price for this. Um, I whacked the, uh, mirror on the passenger side and busted out the, uh, turn signal lens. So I just had the dealer put that in while they were there. And it was like, I don't know, 250. Um, I could have done it myself, but I just wasn't feeling like messing with that particular thing because you pretty much have to dis disassemble the whole mirror from the front. Um, and the other self-inflicted thing, I did a video about where I accidentally deleted the command and the CAN software and it jacked everything up. But fortunately, the dealer with a couple hours label labor was able to get everything reloaded. It's all working fine now. That was well worth the couple hours on the repair order they said something to the effect of um that initially when they booted it up they couldn't connect to any of the modules but they figured out how to do it there's some weird stuff going on with the date and like this for example if i come to the assist plus it says my next service is due in 1272 days and it will not let me change the date. Um, there's some stuff on the forum about that. Real quick, let's do an acceleration run. Yeah, this engine is a beast. Um, I had it in comfort mode, so it downshifted in from second to first there. Um, so it does pretty well there. But the engine in this car, I, I looked at in the oil cap you can see the timing chain and some of the internals so clean this apparently was a one owner car until 2021 when it was purchased for, uh, by the guy that I bought it from he had it for about three years um, I found the original paperwork from when he bought it um, it was kind of buried in the uh, owner's manual book he paid 11 11 for it and then he he did do some maintenance to it i mean i think he put another four grand in it so as near as i can figure this car cost him about 10 grand to own for three years and four thousand miles so pretty pricey um but other than that i've put i don't know a couple hundred miles on it so far and um other than that, it seems to be pretty good. Um, now that I have all the maintenance stuff up to date, uh, the oil was recently changed. Uh, the motor mounts were recently changed. It's got all new brakes all around, uh, all new tires all around. I mean, the guy put some money into it. Um, it runs and drives fantastic, um, just like brand new, uh, pretty amazing. And it's funny, the 7G Tronic that's in this car uh, ships smoother than the 7G Tronic Plus that's in a couple of my other cars. Um, I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so yeah, this this car is, um, 
you know, it's old enough, I think we could call it a survivor. Um, I'm going to enjoy it for a while. I don't know how long, and then I'm going to submit it to one of the auction sites. Um, I think even with the repairs, um, I can break even on it. Um, and that would include replacing the axle. So I would either replace the axle or uh, go ahead and disclose that. I don't like... Um, I don't like to hide things like some other people do uh, when they're listing cars for sale. It's just it's just not right, and it's a bad karma thing. Um, oh yeah, and the, there's only one other thing wrong with this car that I could find, um, and that was the rear driver's side keyless go uh, handle door handle isn't working. All the other ones are. And um, all the soft closed doors work and stuff like that. Climate control works, AC works, all that. It's all good. Yeah. And yeah, this one has Distronic. Um, it is working well. The blind spot assist is working well. So I think I, I really got a steal for the money. And you know, these kinds of cars where I get something that's just an amazing car for so cheap I mean the paint is like flawless the interior is flawless this is such a gorgeous car and it just feels like you're driving a new one and the fact that you know deals like this are out there um, but I knew immediately that um, I had to be the first one to call in order to get a deal like this you have gotta be the first one to call or email when you see the ad pop up because stuff like this will go fast. There's other people out there who know what they're looking at and know what they're getting into and uh, would have no hesitation buying something like this. I've missed out on a lot of cool cars because I spotted the ad like an hour after it was listed and someone else had already called and, and bought it. Uh, but, you know, occasionally I'm the first one up and I get the cool car and um, I just love getting a new used car something that has some history going through it figuring out what all it needs uh, taking care of things and um, yeah so anyway that's the update on my S550 it seems like um, overall a fantastic purchase